This is the May 2nd, 2023 meeting of the City of Charleston Board of Zoning Appeals Zoning. Present are Allison Grass, myself, John Bennett, uh, Bill Goodman Jr., and Chappie McKay. Present from the planning staff are Lee Batchelder, Penny Ashby, and Omar Muhammad. These proceedings are being recorded, and we ask that those who speak identify themselves for the record. We will conduct this meeting in usual fashion. We will first receive information from city staff about the application and their recommendation. If the recommendation is favorable and no one objects to the application, the matter is uncontested. The Board of Zoning Appeals usually, but not always, approves uncontested applications. For all applications, the Board reserves the right to ask questions of the staff, applicant, or others in attendance prior to rendering a decision. If, however, the city recommends against the application or there's opposition to the application, we treat the application as contested and hear from the applicant and anyone else who is in favor of the application. Next, we will hear from anyone opposed, followed by a short rebuttal from the applicant. We then close the public hearing portion of the meeting for that particular application and open discussion to the Board of Zoning, board of zoning Appeals members only. We will then make a decision to approve, approve with conditions, or deny the application. The Board of Zoning Appeals Zoning has the authority to do three things. First, appeal, hear appeals to decisions of the Zoning Administrator. Second, grant special exceptions, a fact-finding function of the Board. And third, grant variances to the Zoning Ordinance if the application meets the hardship test outlined in Section 54-924 of the Ordinance. The Board may deliberate and make a final decision on a matter by a majority vote of members present at the hearing and qualified to vote provided that not less than a quorum is present and qualified to vote. However, an affirmative vote of two thirds of the board members present and voting shall be required before a use variance may be granted. For a variance to be granted, the Board of Zoning Appeals must make the following findings. A, that there are extraordinary and exceptional uh, conditions pertaining to the particular piece of property. B, these conditions do not generally apply to the other property in the vicinity. C, because of these conditions, the application of the ordinance to the particular piece of property would effectively prohibit or unreasonably restrict the utilization of the property. And D, the authorization of the variance will not be of substantial detriment to the adjacent property or to the public good, and the character of the district will not be harmed by the granting of the variance. There are three items that will not be heard tonight. Item A1, review of the minutes and deferred applications from the previously advertised agenda. Uh, we will defer that to the next meeting for lack of a quorum. Mr. Goodwin was not present. Item B1, 199 St. Philip Street has been withdrawn. And item B2, 193, 195, 197 Jackson Street has been deferred as well. Those items will not be heard tonight. Um, at this time, we will swear in anybody who is intending to speak at this meeting. Uh, if you would, raise your right hand. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? You will signify by saying, I do. Thank you. Uh, moving on to the first item on the agenda, item B3 is 60 Trad Street, Charlestown neighborhood. TMS number 458-0903-174. And SR5. Request variance from section 54 301 to allow a three story piazza addition with a 46% lot occupancy. If 35% limitation and existing lot occupancy is 30%. Owner John and Marty Harrison, applicant Philip Huey and Associates, architect. Mr. Batchelder. 60 Trad is a residential property on Trad just east of Meeting Street. The site, the zoning map shows the location of the property. And this aerial view shows the existing home on the property. And uh, you'll notice that there's no piazza on this house. Other houses have piazzas, but this house does not. And that is the nature of the request tonight is to restore the piazza to this house. Uh, and by doing that, uh, the percentage of the lot that's occupied by the building increases substantially and it, it exceeds the 35% limitation for the zoning district. Uh, 
So they are asking for a variance of 46% of the lot to be occupied. Um, and uh, that um, <clears throat> area shown in pink is the additional piazza that's um, or the uh, piazza addition that's being requested for approval tonight. And uh, so there's a substantial addition. And, uh, and as you see the existing side elevation of the house, in this view, the proposed elevation. So you see it's a substantial multi-story piazza addition. And, uh, and this home had a piazza at one time, but it was removed somewhat in its history. <clears throat> and here are the uh, Sanborn maps just documenting the presence of the piazza in this house. And this blow up of that image. And um, these are indications of support from neighbors who live around the property at 60 Trad, uh, people at 58, 61, 59, 64, 62, 57, 53. So the adjoining neighbors uh, all support this. And then you see a letter from April Wood of the Historic Charleston Foundation indicating that they have a movement on the property and that they um, are in support of the application for reviews. And here's another email from the owners of 62 Trad indicating that they uh, support the application. That concludes the letters of support. But, um, but anyway, uh, we recommend approval of this application. It, um, it requires a variance, but it, is uh, a request that is being done in an effort to restore the historic home, uh, which is obviously what we support in Charleston. So, recommend Ms. Batchelor. So, the city's recommendations for approval. Anyone present in opposition to the application? The applicant wish to present. Plus, I have to try to do it. Appreciate it. Um, Move for approval. Move for approval. Made by Ms. Grass. Second. Second. Second by Mr. Goodwin. Um, all those in favor? Aye. Uh, opposed? Um, the motion is unanimously approved. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Oh, have a good evening. Next time on the agenda, B4 is 167 Grove Street, Wagner Terrace. PMS number 463-1501-012, zoned SR2. Request special exception under section 54-110 to allow a horizontal expansion, kitchen expansion, laundry room, bath, stairs, and vertical extension, bedroom, closet, stairs, balcony. It extends a non-conforming two and a half foot east side setback, nine feet required. Under applicant Lauren Flatley and Ben Laden. Mr. Batchelder. So this is a home in Wagner Terrace. See it here on the zoning map, mid block. And uh, it's a one story house that occupies the property right now. Small one story home, and they would like to uh, build an addition onto the back portion of the house to uh, increase the size of the home. So these are photographs of the existing home. <coughs> and this <coughs> image shows the proposed addition off the rear of the house. And the uh, site plan Okay, so this is the existing survey of the property. This is the proposed. And so I drew this yellow line across here to indicate the
footprint of the, of the existing home and the, uh, the area to the rear of that is the addition that they're proposing. So it's extending this non-conforming east side setback over here. Uh, of course, you see the dash line indicating the required setback area. The steps off the rear addition are allowed to encroach into the rear setback, so there's no issue there. So the only issue uh, for the board is the extension of the uh, east side setback with this addition, this rear addition. And, uh, and these are floor plans indicating the uh, existing and proposed. And the second story of that addition can be shown here. And so an elevation you see uh, existing on top and proposed on the bottom. And uh, so they're, they're uh, of course, restricted by what the VAR will allow them to do with the existing home. And uh, so trying to make use of the limitations of the limited area that they have on the property. I think they've come up with a creative solution to adding square footage to the home. I think this does have to go back to the VAR for their approval, uh, but the indications that we've received are that staff would be supportive of this request. So you And these are letters uh, from surrounding neighbors who indicate that they have no objection. So the first one is actually from the applicant indicating that they've spoken to the owner at 165 Grove and uh, he offered his verbal support. And then you see 166 Grove support them and 170 Grove Street as well. And the Neighborhood Association of Wagner Terrace indicates that they were April 17th, sorry. So there is support for this. We're not aware of any objections or concerns uh, that have been raised. And so we, we recommend approval of the special exception uh, uh, with this, what we think is a creative solution. These recommendations for approval. Is there anyone present in opposition? Would the applicant like to offer any comments on the project? I think we're okay. Thank you. Any questions from the board? Comments? Oh, I guess I'll just ask. Um, regarding the both of the neighbors, one you received verbal approval, and then the other one. On the other side on the other side is uh we have a long-term tenant uh who resides in that property the owners uh we made efforts to reach out um but we did uh originally submit a letter from the long-term tenant who lived there for over a decade um in support however um upon guidance from staff we withdrew the letter as it was not the property owner okay thank you did the uh, city there's no there or any issues like issues no I, I don't believe so i think this is a um, modest addition we've seen much larger so i think this is a modest addition to this home i don't feel that there would be any adverse impact i'll make a motion to approve Move for approval by mr mckay is there a second Second by Mr. Goodwin. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? None. The motion for approval is unanimous. Thank you very much. Thank you. Final item on the agenda is number B5, 4 Trumbo Street, Charleston Village. TMS number 457. 1201-010, zone DR1F. Request variance from section 54-301 to allow a one-story stair addition with a 3.52 foot west side setback 
a 3.52 total side setback, 9 feet and 15 feet required. Request special exception under 54 110 to allow a second floor addition, porch enclosure, bathrooms, closet, office, to a non conforming building footprint having a 7 foot west side setback, 9 feet required. Under Charleston and Kerry Mizell, uh, applicant Jeremy Preska, Chautuck Studio, LLC. Mr. Batchelder. So this is a two-story home that is being proposed for elevation to meet FEMA requirements. So full story off the ground, this location. Uh, here's the zoning map showing the location of the property. And uh, here's an aerial view of the property. And uh, you can see, kind of see from this, ele this image, and I've got another one, I think. But these homes are generally right off the ground. So first floor is right off the ground. Uh, except maybe this home right here, which is elevated. But these are within an area that does experience flooding. And so uh, some of us want to raise this home to get it above the FEMA flood uh, zone requirements and free board requirements of the city. Here's an image of the front of the house right now. You see it's first floor right off the ground. And uh, street view. So on the left is the existing site plan. And uh, with the red lines indicating the required building setbacks. So. And then on the right is the proposed site plan. And what's different about that is that um, these stairs have been added. Those need a variance to approach into the side setback on the west side of the house. And uh, those are necessary in order to provide the uh, rear access from the house into the rear yard. Right now, there's access provided right here. But that So this is an effort to maintain that rear access. They're also removing a shed in the backyard that exists right now. And uh, so the addition of this portion of the building footprint will uh, not even match the existing lot occupancy on the property once they remove that shed. So they're actually decreasing the lot occupancy. Elevation it will appear this way. You see the bottom of the proposed street elevation. Uh, the other thing that they're going to do so they have a one story piazza right here. And what they would like to do is, uh, is uh, once they elevate, is enclose a lot of that piazza as additional living space uh, and add to add the I guess the piazza on the top floor of the house um, is additional living space. So existing views of the home, letters of uh, support from these folks to my area, Tony Trombo, Lizzie Rutledge. None of these, I, I don't think, are from immediate neighbors. It's 13 Trombo, 14 Trombo. But um, you're not aware of any objections or concerns to this. Just don't just contact with us. But, but anyway, the image on the bottom is really the best image to show the proposed changes. And so we're dealing with um, stairs, which require the variance in the side yard, as well as the special exception to extend this one story piazza uh, into the second floor uh, of the house. And our recommendation is for approval uh, to allow the home to be elevated. And of course, it will have to go through the DAR and receive their review as well. One question for you, Mr. Batchelder How is the stair? 
on this application application different from the one on the prior application that didn't impact the rear? Is it because it's a rear setback difference? Right. The, okay. On the previous application, the stairs, the, the new stairs were approaching into the rear yard, and there are exceptions in the ordinance to allow porches and decks and stairs to approach into the rear setback. Um, but there are no exceptions to allow porches and stairs and things like that to approach the side setback. So those are just treated as building parts of the building that have to meet setback requirements. In this case, they can't meet that setback requirement. Okay. Uh, city's recommendation is for approval. Is there anyone present in opposition? Would the applicant like to present or talk on the application? I reserve the right to to that necessary, but I believe Mr. Van Tolder did a great job of presenting the project. I think the one thing we did want to mention is that this is Charleston and Eric of Missile Europe. And my apologies, I misread the he, yes, I so wanted yep. to clarify that. It was it was uh type wrong in the, the agenda, but they have reached out to more neighbors, including the adjacent neighbors, and they presented letters from those that they were able to reach that had heard back from. So they did take the time and effort to approach other neighbors along the street, including the adjacent homes who they have good relationships with. Great. Do you have those addresses on hand, or uh, could you provide those for a record? Oh, uh, what you mentioned two, six? Yes, we reached out to everyone. We went on Easter weekend, so a lot of people were out of town. Um, we, we've been out of our home for a year due to a fire. Um, so we just had kind of chance to walk back around. Questions or comments from the board? So we did get, get neighborhood association approval. Um, I don't really think these kinds of requests rise to the level of a neighborhood association review. I think it's more about immediate neighbors and whether they have concerns with the proposal and request and whether they meet the requirements for the special exception. I think they do. And we did get immediate neighbors. Well, uh, we don't have anything in writing <coughs> from them, but I think they've indicated that they attempted to talk to neighbors, especially at eight and four in Crumbo. Oh, six, 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 yeah, six, four, six, six. All right, so this is that's right. Let me make sure I'm clear. Six oh. and two. So, how about this neighbor and that neighbor? Oh, I think this is four is yours. I, I got, yeah. yeah, this is the actual. Oh, okay. I'm looking at the wrong. This is the two problem. And, two so it would be two and six. six. Oh, okay. Okay. That's my fault. And we do have comments from two and six. On, on two, as you mentioned, we've been gone for a while. Uh -huh. um, on two, kind of changed hands way right before our uh, fire. Um, we knocked on the door. We didn't. As she said, it was Easter weekend. Um, we've attempted to make contact with the six, uh, but we haven't gotten any uh, commentary. It is, I guess, uh, we can note that six is, um, the owner of six is kind of who ran in and helped put our fire out, kind of saved it. We got our animals out. Um, but we haven't gotten any opposition or support. If I can add, I, there, I, I don't think the stairs really ought to impact anybody. And so really, uh, it's the addition of that top floor piazza on that side, and, uh, which will be an enclosed area of living space um, to get the VAR's approval. And, uh, <clears throat> So the impact is to the neighbor at six, Trumbo, but the homes there, and if we go back to, let's see, let's go to these images. That's not a very good image, but look at these images. Street here, the north side is really helpful. 
here's the house at six Trumbo. And uh, they, the applicants can correct me if I'm wrong, but they really don't have much of a uh, view on that side of the property. No, they, they did not. And there's only one, yeah, there's one window over their kitchen sink and one that goes up their stairwell, same as our house. Yeah, we yeah. have to keep closed just because <laughs> you can see. <laughs> Yeah, there, there are houses on that block that have non historic additions to the rear and other things. And we were trying to preserve the footprint of the house and thought going vertically would be the least impact any would be around. Can you show the um, elevation, the streetscape, please, of what it will be like um, proposed? Thank you. I think at some point all these homes are going to be raised. It's just a matter of time. Is the raising uh, causing the height elevation and the height as opposed to a few houses that are right on three or four houses that are to the left? Um, is that what's causing that? Looks like it's in line with a couple of the houses, but it is a floor taller than the next few houses. Is that well, causing that? So that ground floor is necessary. It can't be conditioned living space, but it's necessary to get it above FEMA requirements, right? That's correct. Yep. FEMA city free board requirements. So it's not like they're going up eight, nine feet because you want to, it's because you have to. No, and, and also, as they mentioned, they had the home suffered fire damage a year ago, and there are 50% rules about repair work that they can even be done. So it, even just to restore some of the stuff inside, it makes sense to raise it just, just to be allowed to do that without being challenged with the, the limits of uh, the work that are allowed. And as well as just preserving a historic home for many years to come. So is there a side elevation for the that's next to the six trombo? I guess the west side. I don't think we have that. <clears throat> A little side of the street. We're going through it right now. You know, right now, every other house has been lifted, and then the houses in between have been lifted. And um, number six, I actually lived in that house a couple times. And uh, has about, you know, about six inches of clearance off the street and it's suffering not so much. But we're going through because they do get standing water at the end of the street and of course down on the other end along the way. So a lot of standing water. So. But it would be a transition period when houses are starting to work their way up. It will. They have our own move some around the corner from there and on that street to build this out. So the other requirement is you know, to get you up and out of uh, sea rise. City really is encouraging homeowners to raise their houses. I agree with you on it. It's just it changes. It does tend to change right now what the, uh, the feel for the street. But I would just think that in a couple of years, as everybody else does it, it will begin to regain a street presence. I think it has the advantage that of setting precedent for the neighbors for how to appropriately manage that issue. It does. The house to the right of that, you look at it from this picture, you know, they ended up putting floodgates in the ground level of their house, though they still use it as an occupied space because they can. Right. Um, the new house that will not be an occupied space once it's been lifted. So, so it's not like you're really lifting it and adding a whole bunch of living space under it. Uh, FEMA requirements do not allow you to return to living space or occupied space, I should say. You can enjoy it. Play shuffleboard down there. <laughs> Our decision tonight is not about them lifting it, it's about them um, adding the stairs and the piazza on the top floor of the existing piazza. Right, so the piazza is only in that one little section. It doesn't go all the way, the full length of the house. No, it does go the full length. Oh, it does? Yes, it does. Concurrently or? Sorry. 
the so yeah, existing yeah, it's like, is about half the length of the house, and then the rear half is heated. So the addition right. above would be oh, full wow. length heated, right, which there's a few houses you're able to find as precedents around walking around the neighborhood that were constructed that way originally. You also have to go to VAR. So That's you're correct. We're looking at setbacks and side. Your motion. Further discussion? I'm comfortable with your motion. Okay, Mr. McKay moves for approval. Uh, do we have a second? I'll second. Second by Ms. Grass. All those in favor? All right. Opposed? The motion for approval is unanimous. Thank you. Thank you so very much. You got a great street. Thank you. Uh, that is the end of our meeting this evening. Thank you. 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 Thank you.